In the world of daily politics, the big story of the day yesterday was the testimony of special counsel Robert Hur. Robert Hur is, of course, the former special counsel who investigated Joe Biden's possession of classified documents after he left the vice presidency. And Democrats are fighting mad at Robert Hur. Why? Well, I mean, he didn't prosecute Biden, even though Biden fulfilled every element of the law that would be required to prosecute him. He, he was grossly negligent in his handling of classified materials by every available piece of evidence. The reason that Democrats are mad at him is because Robert Hur presented them with a choice, and it was a very bad choice. Choice number one, Joe Biden was responsible for his violations of law and should be prosecuted. Choice number two, Joe Biden is responsible for violations of law, but he shouldn't be prosecuted because he's a sympathetic senile old man. And that's the reason why Hur didn't recommend prosecution. He said, yes, he fulfills all of the conditions of violation of the law for years on end. He kept classified documents from like skiffs in his house and in a variety of other locations. But the reason we can't prosecute him is because he's senile. The reason we can't prosecute him is because he is a doddering old fool. And if you get that guy in front of a jury, it's going to be very hard to convict an 81 year old man of keeping classified documents next to his Corvette in the garage. That was the actual report from Robert Hur. We went through it at the time. Democrats are fighting mad at this because, of course, Democrats wanted Biden exonerated on the law, which couldn't happen because he violated the law. And then because he couldn't exonerate him on the law, he had to exonerate him. By exon he didn't really exonerate him legally. He had to let him off the hook because he was a doddering old fool. And Democrats don't want Joe Biden called a doddering old fool in the run up to a presidential reelect effort. And so what you got yesterday is Democrats berating Robert Hur, just really, really mad at Robert Hur. So here is the worst congressman in the country, probably, Adam Schiff, uh, just as a congressperson. I'm not talking about like terrorist supporters like Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar or something. I'm talking about just like as a congressperson who is corrupt and, and venal, Adam Schiff is unparalleled. So here's Adam Schiff berating Robert Hur for the great sin of pointing out that Joe Biden is feeble, which is why you can't prosecute him. And you also understand DOJ policy that you are to take care not to prejudice the interests of the subject of an investigation, right? That is generally one of the interests that DOJ policy requires that prosecutors respect. And it was your obligation to follow that policy in this report, was it not? It was also my obligation to write a confidential report for the attorney general explaining completely but my what decision. what you did write was deeply prejudicial to the interests of the president. You say it wasn't political, and yet you must have understood you must have understood the impact of your words. You must have understood the impact of your decision to go beyond the specifics of a particular document, to go to the very general, to your own personal, prejudicial, subjective opinion of the president, one you knew would be amplified by his political opponent, one you knew that would influence a political campaign. You had to understand that. And you did it anyway. And you did it anyway. Schiff is such a smarmut machine. Again, the only reason Joe Biden isn't in the dock right now is because Robert Hur said that he's senile. That's literally the only reason you have that. It's now that that button choice meme, right? Button one, Biden is senile, so we can't prosecute him. Choice number two, Biden is not senile. We should prosecute him. Those are the only two choices. There is no third choice where Joe Biden did not violate the law. That choice is not available. Democrats cannot have it both ways, but they were trying to. You've heard me talk about how important it is to have a VPN to protect your online privacy, but... Choosing a VPN you trust is equally as important. I can confidently say that ExpressVPN is the best VPN on the market. For starters, ExpressVPN doesn't log your online activity. Many cheap or free VPNs make money by selling your data to advertisers, but ExpressVPN doesn't actually do that. They've even developed a technology called Trusted Server that makes their VPN servers incapable of storing data. ExpressVPN also uses Lightway, a new VPN protocol they engineered to make user speeds faster than ever. ExpressVPN is always blazing fast. It lets me stream videos in HD quality with zero buffering. Not to mention, ExpressVPN is incredibly easy to use. You don't need any technical skills to set it up. Just fire up the app, tap one button to connect. Even your grandparents could do it. Protect yourself with the VPN I use and trust. Use my link at expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro show today. Get an extra three months free on a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro show to get started, protect your online data today. It's the best way to do it. ExpressVPN.com slash Ben Shapiro show. So one House Democrat, this would be Hank Johnson, who believes that uh, the island of Guam is going to tip over. That's literally a thing that he once said. Uh, accused Robert Hur of trying to get a favor from Donald Trump with this report. Again, honest to God, if you ever want to know why the founding fathers designed it so that there were checks and balances in American government and we shouldn't look to government to get things done, 
Look no further than every public hearing where every single congressperson makes an ass of themselves. These people have a collective IQ lower than the wattage of the light bulb right here, like significantly lower. And we're talking about 435 people who have a collective IQ lower than a 100 watt light bulb. It's, 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 it's amazing. Here's Hank Johnson just being terrible as usual. Are you a member of the Federalist Society? I am not a member of the Federalist Society. But you are a Republican, though, aren't you? I am a registered Republican. Yes, sir. And you're doing everything you can do to get President Trump reelected so that you can get appointed as a federal judge or perhaps to another position in the Department of Justice. Isn't that correct? Congressman, I have no such aspirations, I can assure you. And I can tell you that partisan politics had no place whatsoever in my work. It had no place in the investigative steps that I took. It had no place in the decision that I made. And it had no place in a single word of my report. OK, but again, the implication by Democrats is the only reason that Robert Hurd would say he's senile is because he's a mean old Republican. Again, that's the only reason that Joe Biden isn't being prosecuted. And then it was fun to watch as Democrats tried to spin it the other way. So they tried to say, well, OK, sure, Biden, maybe he's senile, but does it really matter? So, for example, Steve Cohen of Tennessee, he says, well, sure, Joe Biden can't remember things anymore. Sure, Joe Biden would fail a game of go fish. Sure, like, OK, fine. But does he really need a memory? Do we need brains anymore? In po- Maybe not. The fact is, uh, Mr. Biden sat through five hours and he did an admirable job. And he did an outstanding job in the State of the Union, laying out the case for the future of America, for, for the middle class, for the free, for democracy around the world, for standing up to the Russians, not bend, bending down to them. That's what's important. Not if you can be like on the $64,000 question, assuming it was legit, and answering every single question correctly. That's not what you need to be president. To be president, you need to have values. You need to have an understanding of what values America has and needs to maintain to keep the world safe and peaceful. That's dealing with Ukraine. That's dealing with difficult people like Netanyahu and Israel to try to get something done that's What does that do with Robert Hurd? Robert Hurd's sitting there like, why are you lecturing me? What the and hell? Understanding Social Security and Medicare. Medicaid are important do- institutions that help seniors, not senile people. I mean, I object to that comment. For people see he's not nobody suggests he's senile. And that's disrespectful of senior people with any kind of memory disability. Lots of seniors have memory disability, but they're not <laughs> senile. And to do such was shameful. Joe Biden. Is How dare you use the word senile to describe the senile man? President who knows American values. No, he is not. He's a terrible president who is not competent, which is why the polls have him losing to Donald Trump right now. Absolutely insane. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 